Hey guys, it's Sven. This video I'm going to implement the mutation and the crossover. Um, but before I do that, I already put in a few methods that are going to be very useful, but they're very easy to understand. But they are like uh, we need them to implement those methods. So um, actually, there are only two methods, not four, um, because they are pretty much the same. So we got one that takes in an array takes a, in a mutation rate and in, it takes a um, mutation strength and um, what we are going to do is we are going to iterate through all the values in our array and we are going to check if a random value is smaller than our mutation rate and if that's the case we are going to tweak this number at our given index um, by um, a Gaussian value times the mutation strength. Uh, we, can, we, we can do the same with uh, one-dimensional arrays and not only two-dimensional arrays. Um, it's a little bit shorter. Um, it's a little bit shorter like this. And we also got two methods for copying an array: uh, one for two-dimensional arrays, one for one-dimensional. So let's get started and implement the crossover first. So I've told you, or I've shown you, a method where we take like two parents and we're going to select um, a few, a random values from each of the parents. We are going to make this even more easy. What we are going to do is we are going to take one newborn or like one new one new client and we are going to select one random parent and we are going to select like we are not going to select two parents we are only going to select one parent. This means that all the weights in the parent are going to be the same with the parents and the newborn. And um, why are, are we going to do this? Because it's very simple very easy to understand and um, we don't need to deal with a lot of complicated stuff so if you want to change that just go implement those methods yourself uh, you're free to do so so like just do that it's uh, think about your own crossover method and just implement that what I'm going to do right now is so I'm going to implement through all the newborns so for T newborn in our newborns I'm going to select a random parent. It's going to be parent a is equal to um, survivors dot get a random survivor. This is going to be done with a random integer in the range of zero and math dot random times survivors dot size. Um, this is going to be oh no, I don't want to play music. Um, so this is my random parent and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to iterate through all the layers in my network and I'm going to simply copy the weights and the bias array. So for int i equals 1, I am going to start in the first hidden layer because there are weights to copy. The first layer, like the input layer, there's nothing to copy. It's just a buffer. There's nothing to do there. So for int i equals 1, uh, i is smaller than um one dot get network dot network size and i plus plus and then um our newborn dot get network dot get um the weights at um at i is equal to the parent a dot get network dot weights at i but I'm going to copy this. So copy array um, of the weights, and that's it for the weights. Actually, we just we just copied them, and we're going to do the same with the bias. So bias is equal to uh, the copied bias of the parent. And the good thing, this is already it for the crossover. There are like crossover methods that are so much more complicated, but I want to keep things simple. And with this, we can already uh, implement some very cool, uh, some pretty cool um, games. Like I've implemented Flappy Bird with this very simple method. Um, it doesn't work consistently, but it's uh, I think it's pretty good. So um, another thing that I messed up, I think, is I I, re uh, I I'm not going to return anything in the crossover. I'm just going to like feed in the newborns, feed in the survivors, but I don't want to return anything. Um, so I messed that one up in the beginning. Um, so the mutation 
is going to be pretty much the same. We're going to iterate through all the clients right now. So not only the newborns or survivors, we're going to iterate through everyone. So for TC in the clients. And I'm going to iterate through all the layers as well. So C dot get. Oh, actually, this can be removed. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply mutate the bias array and the wakes array. So muted array of C dot get network dot wakes at I. Our mutation rate is going to be the mutation rate that we um, declared at the top and the mutation strength. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the bias. And the mutation rate is going to be the same. And we're going to plug this one in in the um, evolve method. So we are doing the crossover. What we want to do then is we want to do the uh, mutation. So um, actually, I need to. What I need to do is I need to merge the clients and the selections. So I'm going to quickly clients dot uh, add all, and I'm going to add the um, selection. So those that we selected, but I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, add them in the beginning. So uh, at index zero, I think it needs to be that way around. So zero um, and the selection. This just means that we are going to put the selection in front of the clients. Um, there's no real reason for that. It doesn't really matter. But um, maybe later we are going to do some printing and it's going to look better. So after that. Um, the clients is just going to be like the full clients array and we can mutate um, our clients and well actually that's it that's that's that was very simple I think and in the next video I'm going to use this to play a very simple game and I hope you uh, will watch that and it's very interesting and uh, I hope to see you then